In this video, I'm going to show you how to backtest on TradingView. So the first thing you want to do is once you're on TradingView over here, you want to go to their super charts. And in here, we're going to actually do this using the bar replay function and different strategies. Because in case you were trying to look for a backtest button, unfortunately, you can directly do it. However, you can do it very well using the replay function. So let me show you how to do it and demonstrate everything. First, you have to just put on your strategy. So for example, let's say you're doing a strategy with some, uh, let's say, indicators over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in some, for example, Bollinger Bands over here. There we go, like this. And we're just going to use this for now. So of course, you can put on whatever strategy you want. It can be pretty much whatever. This is completely up to you. But whenever your strategy is up and ready, what you're going to want to do is click on the replay feature where the bar replay is going to open up. And then down here is where it should be interesting from now on. So here, first, you want to go kind of through the graph and you want to mark the spot where you want to actually start the simulation or start essentially the back test or the replay. So I'm going to click on over here. There we go. The graph is going to position over here. And then you can just go ahead, set the speed of how fast you want it to update. And over here, you can just click on play. Or you can, of course, select the bar as well. If you want to select the date, select the first available date or a random bar, you can test that as well on any of these. And then you want to click on start and it's going to start over here. As you can see, it's kind of going on and you can see and kind of back test by looking at the screen over here. You can go ahead and buy and sell whenever you would. And via that, you can go ahead and get all the information you would get by back testing uh, with the difference that you actually did it manually over here. Of course, you can stop this, continue it whenever you want, change speeds, change however you see this when the interval updates, etc. And then, of course, via that, this is essentially just like back testing, but you did it manually inside trading view. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.